This first presidential debate of the 2024 election season organized by CNN really marked a historic moment in U.S. political history with current President Joe Biden and former President Donald Trump engaging in really a heated exchange on various important issues that are of critical concern for voters here in America. The candidates covered a range of topics like you've heard from immigration to reproductive rights to the economy to uh, uh, to the border and many others. Um, in terms of uh, foreign policy, uh, particularly the Israel-Hamas conflict, uh, you know, featured prominently. Uh, Trump criticized Biden's approach, accusing him of being too lenient on Palestinian demands and failing to adequately support Israel. Biden defended his administration's actions, emphasizing the need to protect civilians. Uh, but for the Africans here in Washington, D.C., many of them wanted to hear about the immigration policy. Uh, Trump accused, for example, uh, Biden of having what he called an open door policy that has allowed thousands of migrants to illegally cross from the, you know, into the U.S. from the southern border. Uh, Trump has made the border uh, crackdown a key component of his uh, presidential campaign. Meanwhile, Biden highlighted a bipartisan border deal that Republicans blocked in the Senate at Trump's arguing and saying that Trump's border policies, quote unquote, separated babies from their mothers putting them in cages. Uh, so Africans would have wanted to hear more about some of the plans, uh, more critical plans, uh, concrete plans on what they hope to do uh, for, you know, in terms of whether they, they need to, you know, finding jobs, uh, the path to citizenship and things of that nature. So Jackson, you spoke to some people in the diaspora. Have you, do you have a sense that uh, the debate was able to change anybody's mind at all? Well, it's, it's kind of too early yet to tell on whether this one debate uh, was the thing that need, was needed by voters, especially in the swing states or those undecided voters, uh, whether this debate is the thing that, you know, moved them one way or another. So it will take some time uh, to know. Uh, that takes a couple of days. Uh, and there are other debates that are coming up. The next debate is in September. But again, going back to Africans here in Washington, D.C., they would have wanted to hear more in terms of foreign policy, how the you know, administration of Biden or you know, if, you, if Trump wins, how they will engage with the African continent. And we didn't hear that much. How important is the immigration issue for the diaspora here? Oh, it's quite important. I know when we talk about immigration here in America, we usually talk about, you know, people in, from, you know, uh, countries like Mexico, El Salvador. Uh, but we know that we have a very big block here of, uh, uh, of voters from the African diaspora who are also part of, you know, the, the engagement process either by the RNC, the Republican Party, or the DNC, the Democratic Party. Uh, we've, we've seen that in the past couple of months that uh, many candidates uh, who have been running for Congress here, this house here in the back, uh, they are from, uh, you know, African descent. Uh, many are part of the African diaspora community, and they want to be part of the conversation on whatever the next president, uh, whatever plans he has for okay. them. So we, 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 we've seen over the couple, at least in the last couple of months, that uh, there's been more engagement going on.